I don't. I can't find a problem. Whoa! How much is it? That must be the final solution. What is it, bloody? What is it? <laughs> We're Lottie and Margaret, and holy cow, I think the solar tilt invention was actually cracked. Oh. Since the beginning, we've known what we wanted our solar lift to do. The only problem is that we had absolutely no clue how to do it. The prototyping began months ago, but has only been sitting in the back of our minds. But finally, in the last two weeks, it's become the main priority, as we can't move forward with the rest of our build until it's completely done and installed. You're still here? Lottie just approved the final version of the video we're about to upload. And this is what the viewing party looks like. Look how cool this thing is. Having a AC to DC converter with adjustable voltage. So I set it to 14.3 volts. And here this shows me current. And I also wired this switching polarity switch so I can be playing and testing this actuator and a prototyping the lift. I'm absolutely stoked about how powerful this thing is. Now it drains only one amp, and if I push it hard, there is no way I can stop it. Ugh. Only shows two amps drain. It must be such a good gear ratio for high torque. When going down and pushing it hard, it doesn't even speed up or anything. That means I can easily load it heavily even when dropping down. That's great. Our van will have four 250 watt solar panels located on the roof, tilting towards the passenger side. We chose that direction because we want our side door opening in the direction of the sun, making watching the sunsets from the van nice and easy. These actuators allow us to control the exact angle of the panels and we'll control them via remote. The tilt makes a huge difference in your power input. Your solar is at its ideal performance when the sun hits it at a direct 90 degree angle. In early mornings or in evenings, you'll only be getting a fraction of your panel's potential without a tilt. Today, we'll talk about some of the ideas that Lottie prototyped and why they didn't work for us. And ultimately, we'll share the final solution. The half scissor mechanism was heavily requested. Here is how it's supposed to work that we have attached solar here and simple mechanism opens and closes the whole solar. Look at that, I'm having pretty low profile. This is my actuator, which this is retracted and this would be essentially extended version of it. It can be replaced with a thread rod, but I find it like more complicated solution. Here's the problem. It is easy to find a mechanism that has a low profile what is more difficult is when you put it in a context of things. So if I can demonstrate you right here, right now, that this is kind of an okay, acceptable low profile of the solar panel right here. That gives me this type of a solution of the scissor mechanism here. And the moment you just imagine on this model how you start pushing in, that the force is supposed to be applied to this, that is on this tiny little model almost impossible to push through to get over this th threshold they would actually start lifting up and then all the force the heaviest load is the first few degrees of the solar panel and on such a small distance you're applying all this incredible beginning force that's Absolutely undoable, unfortunately. We got a couch, what do you think? We had to customize it a bit to put it up a little bit higher because it was too low to the ground, but it's been really nice to have somewhere new to sit. Which brings me to a few videos back, I mentioned that I was starting a new activity. Now, in case uh, some of you didn't know, 
I love adrenaline activities. That's my jam. I love that fear factor and I love heights. So that brings me to my new hobby, which has been a treat to learn. Actually, I'd be doing it from here. Right leg bent, arms on the door. Instructor one, ready. Instructor two, ready. In, out. Just for you to get an average look of what the office looks like each day, since you guys were here when we built it, uh, today's strawberry purchase already going through. A basket of these is roughly five dollars. Uh, worth it. Uh, a free kitten, free kitten in the corner. Your little on and off button. It's wild to think just a few months ago, none of this was here. This guy was another suggestion from all of you and thank you very much for all the suggestions. I Fortunately, I don't have enough time to answer you all, but instead I'm gonna apply some of these new tricks and new mechanisms how to lift a solar. This guy decided to have actuators on the same axle. Normally you have, you have them opposite side as an A shape so it creates more stability but then you look at the small tiny stability he has when they are so close together don't forget guys that we need to be aware of these wind conditions that's a number one safety thing second thing is attachment when it's closed it needs to be locked or tight and the third thing most important it needs to be really well attached when driving there were a few comments on here that suggested either having the actuators like on the side of the van. This is kind of problematic for a few reasons. First off, the easy, simple, fast reasoning. Uh, it's kind of ugly, it makes them more vulnerable. But the practical reason is you can't even achieve that good of a lift from that angle because the actuators would be starting from a straight up position. And then the solar would have to be further for it to then put up. It's just not how uh, we can achieve the tilt that we want to achieve. And then the other is to have the actuator located inside of the van, put an additional hole in the roof, and then have the actuators push up from inside. The reason that we don't wanna do this is that it takes up a lot of space. These are not um, small actuators. It's another vulnerability of another hole that it could potentially leak. We're just not really interested in approaching that option. We want this entire system to be external. I'm sick of this. Good job, little kitten. Uh -huh. 
good. Good. This is the scary part. You can do it. <laughs> good job. <laughs> yep. A lot of suggestions came uh, with why don't you have a second row of solar panels that slide on a slider out and then extend essentially double your solar potential. This is what I see as a problem. It's expensive. You essentially buy two sets of solar panels that you just have passively most of the time when you're driving, when you charge as well. If I ever was supposed to do it, I would want that to tilt anyways, because when you have a low sun or when you have a winter months and you're collecting 400 watts and you double it to 800 with just one roll tilting it you get the same amount of power maybe more so this is the whole thing that if i ever have it i want to gain maximum solar power from that too hey how do you by the way like the little paradise we have here behind the workshop a little jungle Oh, there he goes. Just always around. Kitten! Ciao! Squeaking for attention. I love this mechanism. I wish to be using it. Scissor mechanism is just killer. I'm achieving around 46 degrees angle, which is great. This is my limit because I need to fit it under my solar panel. The roof windows already dictate the layout. And the problem with this is it needs extra supporting material to push against and that on my layout would cause me around extra 15 kilos. So unfortunately, that would be too heavy for us. What, what, what? what? Hold on. I seriously don't see a single fly in this. I, don't, I can't find a problem. Come and take a look with me because maybe you'll see something I don't see. But it looks like this, this could really be the final solution. Look at that. I have a little railing system here. This is how small profile I have. This is only top of the solar 11 centimeters. And look, if the actuator represented here starts pushing, look what happens here. It starts, the rail starts lifting it and opening my angle and easily I can have this initial lift angle minus this extra weight that extends and works as a counterweight. Look at that. And when I clip it, because this is the... Hold on, hold on. I want to see from here because... Mm -hmm. Wow. And when this is the rotating position endpoint, this should be really easy to start initiating the lift. Bang. I have even advantage of clipping this a little bit lower, the axis. And if I'm correct, this should be at least 40 degrees. Whoa! How much is that? That must be the final solution! What is it, bloody? What is it? 44! <laughs> That's the dream. Wait, wait, wait. You said 11 centimeters for this? 11 centimeters to the top of the solar panel. That is pretty sick. Uh, then it goes down, sits here, starts pulling in. Hold on, this unlocks. That's gonna be just the axis. And then I'm sliding in. And the best of all, this opens up opportunity for a C shape and a pin. So as I push it in, the last space of the push would just lock under the pin. So when you drive, it holds it tight down. <laughs> wow. No rattling. 
This must be a complete solution. Look at it, low profile. That's amazing. This is the little helper we built earlier with my friend Philip. And that's gonna help us test out uh, my new idea. See if we can push it forward and whether I can start making 3D model and start prototyping. Okay, and now I need to take everything from that dummy, all the measurements and angles, and apply it on a physical model where I can actually play with the weight. That's gonna be enough. That's something else in reality, right? Mm. Oh, there is one big benefit. Because I'll have the axis a little bit lower, that's gonna help me subtly to offload actually some weight. But I think we should test actually with more weight to be on the safe side. It's better if it works out now, then we know it will be fine on the roof. Oh! Wow! That was like nothing. And look, Stop. even when going down, hold on. See? Wow! I can even try a lower angle. Whoa! That was like nothing! How much does it drain actually? I can see how much it works. Well, that was only five amps temporarily. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it immediately jumped to like three amps. That means it's not even working that hard, the actuator. That's amazing. Okay, how low can it go? So wow. easy. So easy. Yeah, right here. So this, this is the angle we need to make. Can we make it? Can we make it? You know what's the best? That when it's in this low angle and the actuator would be stressed the most, that's when it sits on that rail. That's gonna be just a wheel, wheel sticking out of the frame here and it's gonna sit on a rail and it's gonna slide it down like this. She loves being upside down. <laughs> it's a cuddling kitten. Cuddling kitten. <laughs> Vladi tried to steal her for some cuddles, but... I only she's... get bites. I only get bites. Give <laughs> 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 me the she same cuddle. Me. No, mom has the magic touch. Cuddle me too. Buster mama. I'm waiting, hey. Hey. Give me the same cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, kitten. This 
sort out these few details and then start cutting and welding. Yeah, this could easily support four panels, definitely. 